this is an evolutionary question, but the tools I use are from mathematics. By applying both empirical and also theoretical tools to understand the evolution of the human pelvis. How the human pelvis evolved the way that it evolved, why it looks the way it looks and why childbirth is so difficult in humans. That's what I try to understand. So I work with um, data from bones, from human skeletons, so far largely from museum collections that I analyse. And I also apply mathematical models to better understand how the evolution of the pelvis actually happens. So I'm modelling the selection pressures in the evolution of modern humans. These postdoctoral fellowships that the KLI awards, they allow you to drive your own research project, to come with your own idea and pursue this own idea. And it also gives you a little bit of time um, without the need to immediately produce some output within a couple of months. So that some new, maybe more creative ideas than usual actually have a chance as well to be realized. My name is Barbara Fischer. I'm a postdoctoral fellow here at the KLI. Autocatalytic sets are a formalization of that notion and they are also believed to have played an important role in the origin of life. Even though these two ways of making segments are as different as can be, it seems quite easy for evolution to switch between one and another.